Races in the Mr. Alby colours in Pula Wag raced. Red light is on and they're racing now. And uh, Daring Soleil missed the start from near the inside. And away very nicely, Miss Flamboyance with Maxim holding the inside. And Maxim goes through to go to the lead. Now from Maryvale Magic moving up on the outside and Miss Flamboyance on the fence. Night Session has caught out three wide and Daring Soleil's recovered on the inside of Treat Yourself who's back in the centre. Then came Designer Prince from Is a Bombshell who's been heavily back. Goes past the crossing in about seventh place down on the inside. And then the all blue of Vital Image followed by Albie's Pride, Pearls from Heaven, went back from the wide draw. It's on the outside of Albie's Pride, who's a little bit keen and hard to see, goes back to the inside. So at the 1400 metre mark, out in front, it's Marxian in the McCall of Colours, leads by two. Running second is Maryvale Magic on the outside, and third is Miss Flamboyance. Now Harvey's been able to get across with Night Session, and races in the clear fourth. Daring Soleil is down on the inside. McNaught has Treat Yourself racing one off the fence in about sixth place, seven off the leader. Two away to is a bombshell who's down on the inside of designer prince and then came vital image followed by pearls from heaven who's third from last second last hard to see it's over on the inside of albie's pride so they've worked off the back straight the leader is marxian leads by one and three quarters been beautifully rated maryvale magic on the outside and third on the inside is miss flamboyance and then came night session followed by daring soleil who's down on the inside of treat yourself from designer prince is a bombshell is getting away from the inside and and then came Vital Image. Well back is Pearls from Heaven. Albie's Pride is under the whip, giving them 15 before the turn. Gee, this leader travels well. It skipped away, Marxian. And hard to see is back last of all. Is a bombshell's also travelling well and getting to the outside as a corner. So Marxian has got the lead on the bend, led by two. But is a bombshell is looming large on the outside. Then came Night Session. Miss Flamboyance and Daring Soleil has got through the pack as well. So the leader, Marxian, with is, is a bombshell coming down the outside with a very good run, though. Is a bombshell is after Marxian. Marxian fights hard, then night session. Marxian in front. Is a bombshell can't get there. Marxian keeps going from Is a bombshell. Pearls from heaven flies late, but Marxian all the way. Beautiful ride, Pateman, and beat Is a bombshell. And third home, Pearls from heaven on the outside. Then night session, followed by Designer Prince, Miss Flamboyance, and Daring Soleil didn't run the trip. Then Albie's Pride, Vital Image, hard to see. And treat yourself and turn off Maryvale Magic. Marxian out in front. Gee, uh, is a bombshell was given a beautiful ride there by Alan Kennedy. Really chimed into the race before the corner. You could see it bolting and it loomed up like it was going to beat uh, Marxian, but Marxian had a great run in front and found plenty. And uh, is a bombshell just couldn't quite sustain it. And then Pearls from Heaven has uh, come home hard from a long way back. And it's run third close up. And then night session and designer Prince running a good race again for Bruno. So uh, the runner's about to come back. Albie's pride was under pressure on the corner, picked up a fair bit of ground. Treat yourself, had a nice run, but dropped out. Daring Soleil didn't seem to run it out after having a nice run on the fence, despite missing the kick slightly. OK, we'll go downstairs here. A nice staying type, one and three quarters, a uh, short head. Three, five, nine, and eight. Two, thirteen, seven, three the time, and thirty six, one, seven for the final six hundred metres as we go down to Brittany. I have Darren McAuliffe down here in the yard after the victory of Mark Sian. And Darren, it's a, a nice change of pace. You've had a few unlucky runs of recent times, but out in front and out of trouble. Was that the plan going in? Uh, we were happy if someone wanted to take it up, but um, yeah, he sort of uh, got trucking there on Mitch a little bit, and um, he was he was in a nice, comfortable tempo for the majority of that, and he gave a good kick at the top of the straight. I uh, thought they, were, they ran up to him, but um, yeah, he sort of um, showed his staying prowess and, and put paid to them late, so I was really happy with the run. On cornering, you must have been feeling confident. There were a number of runners that we saw were tiring, and he just seemed to be cruising. Yeah, he does sort of stargaze a little bit. He's still very, very new. He's, um, yeah, he's not the uh, cleverest uh, or sharpest tool in the shed, but um, he, um, yeah, he's got uh, he's got a future as a stayer. And um, he sort of did wait for him, I thought, a little bit. 
um, but uh, towards the end they were all sort of getting a bit tired and his big motor kicked in so yeah really happy with it. What was your assessment of rewrite the stars obviously you had the tiring runner coming back into your lap and a few traffic issues there? Yeah uh, two or three tiring runners you know we had one roll up outside you know and you know get stuck behind a 50 to 1 pop and another one they come back they were gone at the half mile and the 600 so um, yeah had to wait for a gap to open and when it did then we had Puckapanyul lay on us all the way down the straight so yeah look just put a line through it it's just very frustrating. Absolutely and uh, this week you have a three pronged attack in the high period and the Velvet King abdicator in Gatting how are the three going in preparation for Saturday? Uh, look they're all spot on I couldn't be any happy with them so um, yeah we just need that luck to return and um, they'll, do, they'll do the job themselves so um, yeah very happy with all three. Is your pick of them the Velvet King? 100%. Well, best of luck on Saturday and well done here. Thanks, Britt. Darren McAuliffe after the victory of Mark Sian, who uh, was out of the front and out of trouble. And uh, I think that would have been music to Darren McAuliffe's ears because uh, he has had a few unlucky runs of late through, uh, you know, tiring horses coming into laps and whatnot. But uh, Mark Sian was able to get the job done in the Ascend Sales Trophies Handicap. We're off to a break on Sky Thoroughbred Central. And when we come back, we'll preview races seven and eight.